All right, what's up, y'all? Take a fan here. As talks about title today's video, here to show you the most underrated dribble style in NBA 2K24 and potentially the best value one as well. So we're gonna get into that in just a second. But first of all, I want to show you guys the power of pro dribble style in terms of its movement. Now. When we do these videos, obviously people talk about nobody wants to move like a bot like this, quote unquote, you know, <laughs> like they're saying, who wants to move like this? Mind you, obviously with any dribble style, you can still do things like escape moves into the dribble move like that, and then be able to get the speed boost or the ball hand hezzy and be able to get stuff like that, no matter what your dribble style is. But I want to show to you a couple things that make pro dribble style really usable in terms of pick and roll offense and for small guards out there, or if you even still want to be more of an ISO player as well, it's a little bit more comboable. So the issue that me and my point guard have been getting into with pro am is that when he kind of walls himself into this hash right here the lockdown plays directly to his left and he can't find his way out of the area he's like walling him in is what we call it but with pro dribble style what you can do is while holding rt if you run directly backwards into the offhand you can get this animation right here which as you can see can really move a backwards really well b it's very comboable and chainable and you can shoot out of it really quickly as well and as you can see it, it just really is good in those tight windows and gets you out of those areas that i was just talking about where again if you wall yourself in right there you can kind of escape out of that area not to mention it's also extremely good to the offhand so as you can see this is like this is considerably good for most dribble styles that aren't just Kyrie Irving most dribble styles to their ball hand are gonna be really really bad in this game this is good enough to launch and actually get you open off it in my opinion and then the third thing that this brings to the table is to the offhand if you don't run directly backwards like this where you're running you know down diagonal to the offhand if you run just directly to the offhand you get a little bit more of this load up right here which is still not too bad it's not quite as good as magic johnson but it's definitely in the same threshold kind of territory now let's show you one more thing about this dribble style as well so when it comes to doing this stupid feature right here which is the hop jumper glitch if you guys don't know this is all this is still in the game unfortunately but when it comes to what that does for you once you do a hop jumper and don't shoot out of it <laughs> you will get kind of like extra speed boost animations out of this stuff so peep how much faster it's running to that offhand when i go to the right right here like look at this stuff it's actually kind of stupid that how when you get this sweeping one right here it just moves significantly faster and then off a couple of these like the ball hand one you can see it runs a little bit more twitchy and quick again that's really because of the speed boost glitch but pro dribble style features into that really well so sorry to spread the toxicity on the you know youtube right here but this is something that also can be factored into it as for its blow out dribble it's nothing crazy if you do it to the ball hand you can see it's just one little quick little tap forward nothing super insane and then for the off hand it's also nothing really that great either so if you come up here tap rt to the offhand as you can see it's just a little tiny ball switch it's actually one of the worst blow out dribbles in the game but pro dribble style definitely good for the half court movement good for point guards and now i'm going to show you guys why this is also kind of glitchy just in general in the builder all right so now that we've shown what the pro dribble style can do i want to show you how glitchy it can be in terms of getting it now as you can see my build that i've created here is a shooting guard six foot eight you have to make this a shooting guard to apply this to the build but as you're gonna see, if you go into the animations, nothing upgraded or anything like that, it's a 60 overall, you get pro dribble style, just out the, out the gate. Now, it's so stupid that this is a thing. I personally do hope it gets patched, but obviously this is the game we play. So I just wanna put you guys onto it off the fact that you can obviously do this, you know? And I, to show you for reference, what is even more glitchy about this, let me go ahead and show you my 5v5 pro -Am team. And I'm gonna pull up Salt right here. Now, Salt has you know originally been on builds that have a little bit more dunk per se but this right here i had him make one and helped him out with like creating it as well in terms of something that would fit me as a player really well and as you can see he's got a 98 midi 92 three-pointer his close shot is high as well he's a post scoring sharp shooting and i mean that literally sharp shooting and obviously he's a lockdown too with like 88 speed 90 strength he's applied literally nothing to his ball handle or speed with ball or anything like that and we're putting this on the hash in our kind of either pick and roll offense or in a five out offense where I'm handling the ball. Now, let me show you, we're gonna show you the fourth quarter only of what my man right here was doing with a build like this. And mind you, he has 25 speed with ball and 25 ball handle with gold unpluckable because it gets, he gets it through the post control as well. Glitchy, so insane. And as you can see, even still, we'll eventually be able to get block, rebound, into your D, all this stuff that he didn't have to, you know, expend too much on his build because he has low ball handle and low speed with ball. Also, if you guys didn't know, I'm pairing up with the NBA 2K Lab this year. So you can use code Laker for 20% off at checkout at their website. That's NBA2KLab.com. On this website is all types of really good statistical jump shot information. You can also test the jumpers on their website too. Plug the controller straight into your phone or to your PC. You can get early, green, late. It'll tell you where you need to adjust on that jump shot. Or if you don't know what jumper you want to run, you just go to their jump shot recommender. You punch in your height, the jump shot rating that you're working with. And then based on the milliseconds of timing that you get, 
it, it'll recommend you a jump shot. So again, if you want to use code Laker for 20% off at checkout, that's NBA2KLab.com. Appreciate you guys, and we'll get back to the video. As a matter of fact, I'm not even going to show you guys the whole fourth quarter. We can just show you literally the last minute of the game and show you what Salt's on with this build right here. So as you can see, he's going to be able to do all types of stuff from like fading threes to spin jumper threes, hop jumper threes. You just wait until you see the rest of this gameplay right here. So he's got 36 points on really high efficiency. Shout out to Dunk Meter. Don't work like that, my brother. It just, you can't run right into people. He's out on the break, obviously catch and shoot three. You know, it is what it is. Obviously, we're not trying to gas that up too much. But again, the final minute of the game here, he's going to end up scoring like 50 points total. Now, he like rewind a couple minutes ago, didn't even have literally 20 so into the next possession we got salt bringing the ball down the court as you can see pro dribble style he's going offhand offhand with it right there now to be fair there are a couple people that aren't even playing the game right now so i just wanted to give you guys a couple looks at some in-game glimpse at this and also show kind of the cool shot creator stuff that salt was able to do with the build between being shot creator post score all that type of stuff between like everything the build can provide so anyway Again, these guys are definitely bots. Do not get me wrong. Obviously, you know, we're out here blocking jump shots and it's just pure troll ball out here from them. But just wanted to show a couple things. So tearing it off with the 91 steal. He's going pure just coast to coast mode. Look at this spin jumper back into the defender from 37 or 30 in, a, in like seven inches feet right there, bro. Look at this again. I mean, this is a crazy shot. Spin jumper back into the defender and just rise up straight over him. Shoot that. I mean, the, the build can do it all, especially with the fact that you don't even have to worry quite as much about getting plucked, even though your ball handle is low. I have not seen Salt lose the ball very much at all. As you can see in this game, he has zero turnovers off 44 points and has four steals as well. I mean, just what I'm trying to get at here is I think the level of ball handling that you get out of this build off the fact that you can get the normal sigs with 40 ball handle, he doesn't even have that yet, he has 25 obviously, and then you add in also that he gets the golden pluckable from the ball handle, and then because he's a shooting guard, he doesn't have to have the speed with ball high, and he gets that pro dribble style. Look at this, hop jumper, backwards, I mean bro, like literally he ends the game 18 for 20, he's shooting 11 for 12 from 3, AK even still had a great shooting game, and AK was joking that he finally had a good game, but Salt's out here just one up in him entirely, but anyway again it, the build can do it all between defending the interior defending the perimeter or at an elite level with the steals perimeter defense all that stuff you get 88 speed ridiculous shooting with 98 mid-range that gets you all the shooting badges except for limitless and i believe agent and that's pretty much it i think claymore potentially as well but besides that like it, it also can score on the interior with the close shot obviously it's not great when it comes to the let's say driving layup department but the close shot actually giving the hall of fame pro touch allows you the opportunity to even still have a, a little bit bigger on the driving layup meter and then again as i already mentioned between the ball handle being capable with the 40 that you eventually get the sigs that give you the normal sigs and stuff like that and even without sigs right now he's still moving decent and then the pro dribble style allowing you that opportunity to run really glitchy offhand and and ball hand for that matter too i mean bro it's literally the most lethal build I think I've seen on this game just because of this exploit of the fact that you can get it with such a low speed of ball. Now, even if this did get nerfed, I still feel like a build like this is good with normal dribble style. It'll be fine. It's just obviously that's, that's something very big to take advantage of the fact that he is a shooting guard and can get this. So I guess what I'm trying to get at here is it's in the builder and I guess it's just bound to be like that. You know, I, I don't know why exactly it has to be a shooting guard in particular over anything. And, you know, obviously they didn't, they don't mean for something like this to happen. Let's be real. Like obviously normal dribble style is a 40 speed of ball requirement that's that's still even higher than you know how you could just have 25 and get it on this and then on top of that too like let's say the pro requirement is still 70 so obviously to get it with a 40 is not realistic but it's in the game that's how it is and, and here we are and i'm gonna be with you guys i don't think they really do much changing of the builder situations like i don't know if that i mean i guess it, it is reasonable because obviously if you made this you should do it with the intention that it could get patched 100% because obviously 2K probably can do that. But to be fair, I don't think 2K does that very often. When it comes to things of the builder, I think there might be something in place where they are a little bit worried about quote unquote scamming people when you're taking, you know, things completely out of the game that they thought they were able to get essentially. But again, this isn't really set up to be the requirements that you would need to meet with the speed with ball. So if they do patch it, I would completely understand it. And I think anybody that makes a build like this should also go into it understanding that that is a possibility and i would definitely suggest if you want to make something like this to get 40 speed of ball as well just as a protection because 40 speed of ball can still be very solid with that normal dribble style as well but at least wanted to put you guys onto this and again it's not so much about the whole exploit right here it's more about the fact that it's a good dribble style for you guards to try and use as well 
So just to draw some comparison, let's use Magic Johnson as the example. So obviously your offhand run with this is definitely the thing that you want to be looking at the most. So like it's got a very good animation in terms of that. It, it, I will say maybe I'm just not the greatest at it. I find it kind of hard to consistently trigger that like perfect offhand run. And obviously it's a little bit limited in just that because if you're going to run to the ball hand with it, now to be fair, you can still do the hezzies and the escape moves and stuff like that, like I already mentioned. But if you're going to run just to the ball hand with it, look at how slow that is and like just pure pure sluggish and garbage it is. And obviously it's blah dribble is terrible too. Now there's no there's no like running backwards thing with magic. I mean, I guess technically as you can see there is, but it's not like going to be quite as good per se. Like it's it's quite bad to be literal. Now if you want to compare this to the pro and i know i have it labeled as booker but it is what it is it was the magic dribble style but if you want to compare it to pro as i mentioned that that backwards one is looking really good like you can do this over and over again it's really quick and then also the ball hand speed boost it's it's pretty solid for that matter i mean that's definitely something you can just catch run and drive right by someone on and as you can see like it's almost on some like baby stop and go stuff from 23 and then as far as the offhand run we even still have that little mini magic you know it's not it's not quite magic johnson but it's it's still a facet of that game that can still be you know brought out i guess essentially so again to control this you run a little bit backwards when you're going to the offhand if you want this quick one that's going to allow you to do this stuff and then obviously if you're going for that elongated one you can just hold directly to the side while holding rt and it'll give you this animation right here and then for the ball hand one is pretty simple just hold sprint while you're running the ball hand boom you're gonna get that little stop and go easy stuff right there so just wanted to put you guys on to pro i hope you enjoyed the video if you did feel free to drop a like sub if you're new to notice all the good stuff and like always try this one to 2000 likes Made to the end of the video, put pro or put dribble in the comments. Short spurts my way through. Maybe that's all. I appreciate you guys watching. And again, you know, do this at your own discretion. I'm not going to sit here and say anybody's going to get banned for it. That's very unlikely. But just understand that it very likely could get patched. So if you happen to get your 40 speed ball, if you go like 35 speed ball and it gets patched and you don't have normal dribble style, I want to at least remind you that I told you you should probably go 40 speed ball on a build if you're trying to take advantage of this stuff because it's still you know possible that it gets patched but anyway even if not 70 speed with ball heads up for that if you're a tall guard out there if you're a shooting guard out there who has like 75 speed with ball because you wanted magic if you want to try pro instead i absolutely vouch for it so that's the main audience that should be getting targeted with this video just so we're clear but anyway that's all and hope you all enjoyed none of that take man peace